Head to Tribute Peak, also known as the Island for the Shores of Gold Tall Tale. If you don't have the checkpoint, you will need to go to Moral Speak Outpost in order to start the Tall Tale. The checkpoint is not needed, but it allows you to go straight there. Along the way, find yourself an ammo crate, as it is vital for this process. Once you arrive, anchor just past the southern vault. If you use the checkpoint to get here, cancel it so that you don't accidentally lose it. Then grab yourself a sword and a sniper. Aim your cannon towards the waterfall. Then take your ammo crate and place it in this pool of water. Or just anywhere that you can grab it from underneath the island. Perform the sword lunge as taught in this video. A link to it will be in the description or in the cards if you haven't seen it already. Once you make it through, swim and grab your ammo crate. Swim back towards the spot where you entered the underside of the island and swim downwards. Land on this platform connected to the pillar and then fall onto the floor. This is just to stop you from breaking your limbs. Once on the floor, place the ammo crate by the front right pillar and start firing. The gold order has what I like to call four states. Sitting, wandering, aggro, and despawn. Once you start firing, you want to keep the gold hoarder in the wandering state until he dies. In order for the gold hoarder to get into the aggro state, you have to be within a radius the size of half of the room, and he has to have line of sight of you. You can run literally right behind him, and he won't aggro until you are right on top of him. If the gold hoarder begins to aggro, his health completely resets, so it is better just to die in order to reset the fight. After the gold hoarder goes around the back left pillar, go along the right side of the room. It takes around 37 sniper shots to kill the gold hoarder, which is about 2500 HP, but sometimes it takes longer due to hit registration issues and some other mechanic that I haven't quite figured out yet. Once the gold hoarder dies, take your ammo crate for a refill and return it back to the front right pillar. Once you do that, head through the open door on your left to exit the gold hoarder room and then black screen yourself on this post. Keep swimming and look down, then stop swimming and hold your jump key. You may have to wiggle around for a bit. Y'all know the drill. Then. Once you respawn on your boat, you just cannon over and restart the entire process. Once you re-enter the room, the gold hoarder will be sitting on his throne. If you can do this entire routine, shooting out to the waterfall, glitching underneath the map, killing the gold hoarder, refilling your ammo crate and returning back to the boat in 5 minutes, it will net you about 12 skulls an hour and 120k gold an hour. Doing it in 3 minutes, it will give you about 20 skulls an hour and 200k an hour. If you sell all the skulls during the gold rush, that will be 180k an hour and 300k an hour respectively. As a small tip, if the gold hoarder gets too close, try shooting him and waiting. His AI pathing may force him to turn around. Enjoy!